Cyber Offenses Social Engineering Social engineering is a type of cyber offense that involves manipulating individuals to disclose sensitive information or perform actions that may compromise security. Unlike traditional hacking methods that focus on exploiting technical vulnerabilities, social engineering exploits human psychology. Here are some common social engineering techniques. Phishing. This involves sending deceptive emails, messages or websites that appear to be from a trustworthy source to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information like usernames, passwords or financial details. Pretexting. Attackers create a fabricated scenario to obtain information from the target. They might impersonate someone in authority such as a bank official or IT support to gain the victim's trust and extract sensitive information. Baiting. Similar to phishing, baiting involves offering something enticing. Enticing. <clears throat> Cyber offenses, social engineering. Social engineering is a type of cyber offense that involves manipulating individuals to disclose sensitive information or perform actions that may compromise security. Unlike traditional hacking methods that focus on exploiting technical vulnerabilities, social engineering exploits human psychology. Here are some common social engineering techniques. Phishing. This involves sending deceptive emails, messages or websites that appear to be from a trustworthy source to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information like usernames, passwords or financial details. Pretexting Attackers create a fabricated scenario to obtain information from the target. They might impersonate someone in authority such as a bank official or IT support to gain the victim's trust and extract sensitive information. Baiting. Similar to phishing, baiting involves offering something enticing like a free download or USB drive to lure individuals into unknowingly installing malware or disclosing sensitive information. Quizzes and surveys. Cyber criminals may create fake quizzes or surveys that seem harmless but are designed to collect personal information which can then be used for malicious purposes. Impersonation Attackers may pose as a trusted individual such as a co-worker or family member to manipulate targets into revealing sensitive information or performing actions they wouldn't normally do. Wishing Voice phishing this involves using phone calls to deceive individuals into providing sensitive information. Attackers may impersonate legitimate entities such as banks or government agencies. Tailgating or piggybacking. In physical environments, social engineers may gain unauthorized access to a secured area by following closely behind someone with legitimate access. Reverse Social Engineering In this scenario, the attacker manipulates the target into approaching them. The attacker plays the role of someone in need of assistance and the victim willingly provides sensitive information or access. To defend against social engineering attacks, Individuals and organizations should be aware of these tactics and implement security measures such as security awareness training, 
educating individuals about the risks of social engineering and providing guidelines on how to identify and respond to such attacks. Multi-factor authentication Adding an extra layer of security by requiring additional verification steps beyond just a username and password. Regular security audits Conducting periodic assessments of security policies, procedures and controls to identify and address vulnerabilities. Verification protocols Establishing clear procedures for verifying the identity of individuals, especially in situations where sensitive information or access is involved. Cybersecurity policies Implementing and enforcing strong cybersecurity policies that address social engineering risks and provide guidelines for safe online behavior. Thanks for watching.